For coffee lovers, making that perfect cup of coffee is essential. For some, it can be elevated to an art form or a means of self-expression. Let's look at French press coffee versus Keurig, and when sometimes it is best to use one over the other as a busy caregiver. Hi, I'm Dawn from the blog ParkinsonsandUs.com, a lifestyle blog supporting caregivers. Coffee drinkers all over the world have personal preferences on how to make delicious cups of coffee. The French press originated in France in the mid 1800s and became popular in the United States around the mid 1900s. The French press method is a very popular method for coffee drinkers and can produce a deliciously full flavored coffee. Using a French press is super easy. There's just a few steps to take to make that perfect cup of coffee. The first step is to heat your water and you want to bring your water to a very gentle boil. And then you want to add your fresh grounds to the French press carafe and it's approximately one to two tablespoons per cup of water. Next, you're going to pour the hot water into the carafe about one third of the way full. And then using either a metal or wooden spoon, you're just going to stir it around for about 30 seconds. And then after that, you're gonna to continue to pour the heated water up to about one inch below the rim of the carafe. Then you'll place the cover on the French press and set the timer for four minutes. And then you wanna slowly push that plunger about halfway down and pull it back up just to get the grounds settled down into the water. And then when the four minutes are done, you're just gonna slowly press that plunger down completely. And then you're gonna pour your coffee into your favorite mug and enjoy. There are several good reasons to use both the French press and the Keurig, but some of the times I like to use a French press coffee maker is like on the weekend, like on a Sunday when Doug and I are home together without any pressing commitments. That's a nice time to make a French press coffee when we can afford a leisurely morning together. Other times or if I crave a rich, bold cup of coffee and I think that I'm going to drink more than one cup because the Keurigs, generally speaking, are single serving methods. Other times I use a French press is when I want to make extra coffee to save for later. Sometimes I like to have iced coffee in the afternoon, so I'll make a little extra and that's a good time to use a French press. Now the Keurig coffee maker is another great way to make a single serving cup of coffee. The word Keurig is actually a Danish word and it means excellence. Now it used to be that you couldn't really make a good cup of coffee using a Keurig, but the Keurigs have come a long way. One thing I like to do is use my reusable K-cup holder that way I can use my own brand of coffee, the kind that I like. And I'm not throwing away so many of those plastic cups, even though they are now recyclable. Now the times I like to make a nice cup of coffee using my Keurig coffee maker are times like in the morning when I'm rushed. If I'm heading out the door quickly for an appointment or a meeting, using a Keurig coffee maker is much, much easier. And another reason to use our Keurig coffee maker is that Doug, due to his Parkinson's disease, now has a somewhat diminished sense of taste. So he enjoys his coffee much, much stronger than I do. So having a Keurig is nice to be able to adjust the strength of each individual cup of coffee. And because Doug has Parkinson's, it is much easier for him to use a Keurig versus any other way of making coffee. So if Doug wants to make himself or me a cup of coffee, 
I am very happy using the Keurig coffee maker. the Keurig coffee machine, there's really only five simple steps to making a great cup of coffee. Number one, place your coffee pod into the Keurig coffee maker or fill the reusable coffee pod with the coffee of your choice. Number two, you're going to just place your coffee cup onto the drip tray platform. Number three is pressing the power button to turn on the Keurig coffee machine. Number four is select the number of ounces you prefer. And most Keurigs have a six, eight, 10, or 12 ounce selection. And number five is press start and allow your Keurig coffee machine to do its thing and pour you a great cup of coffee. So I hope this video helped you learn a little bit about French press coffee versus a Keurig and also gave you some ideas of when to use one over the other. If you want to learn more, you can read my blog. I talk much, much more about the French press coffee versus the Keurig, as well as I give you some reviews and ideas of different French press coffee makers and Keurig coffee makers including the ones I am using here in this video. I'll put a link down in the description box for you to check out that blog post. And if you did like this video, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up or subscribe and comment below. And if you want to be part of the Parkinson's and Us community, that would be great. I'll put a link down in the description box where you can sign up. It's a beautiful community where you'll find nourishing recipes, joyful living tips, and support for care partners everywhere. So I wish you a wonderful week, and until next time, bye for now.